covering up the camera. Hey guys, how do I get my finger away from that? Okay, here, there's my thumb. I'll try not to do that anymore. You ever have um, moments during the day, those with multiple kids, or maybe even one kid, you ever have those moments during the day where you just have to hide? This is not really one of those moments, but it kind of is. To do, to do a quick video, I gotta hide, because it is madness. It's madness. So, I can't wait for the day. For one, like, I can't wait for the day <laughs> where I can edit these videos. I can, I can edit them, I just, we don't have any time right now. Or maybe I don't wanna make the time right now. That's it, that's it. I don't wanna make the time right now. But eventually, we're gonna have like, a jingle. I'm gonna have a jingle. I don't. If you know anybody that makes jingles, I'm in the market. I'm gonna have a homestead jingle. I'd like a little like bluegrassy, like twangy. Um, that's not my life, but it's about to be my life. It's about to be. Um, so yeah, I want a jingle for for our, our Facebook videos. Uh, I want to look. I don't usually hold the camera. Usually it's like on something. I want to look up there, but the camera's right there. Sorry. So and then and then one day, one day I promise you, if you stay tuned in, one day we'll add value to your life. We will. Right now it might just be entertainment value. Yeah, we're in. We're in just this state of getting ready for the homestead, and I love it. I want to document it so, so again, I can look back on things and just say, hey, do you remember that? Um, so that's kind of where we're at now. And even once we get to the homestead, it's going to be, I, I've done a lot of research, and it, it's not like everything comes together like instantly. I mean, it, it takes years. It takes years. So, um there's gonna be a, a period of time where we're just kind of feeling things out, you know? And this winter, so we're, this is, uh, we're in October right now of 2018. We move in a month, probably less. It'll be hunting season. I don't hunt right now, but I pro I will be this year. I will be. It's gotta start sometime. So um, you, you'll get to see videos of my hunting successes or failures. I can't wait. Maybe I can add value finally. Maybe I can add value instead of just entertainment. Even if it's entertainment, it's fun. Uh, we'll look back on these things and laugh and, and see how far we've come. So I'm looking forward to that. But, um, yeah, I, <laughs> there's a couple things. Uh, I, I've been in the market for a bow. So, you know, I just thought, like, I just thought you'd, search on Craigslist first. So I almost bought this super expensive bow. Like this Craigslist ad had just line after line of all these things that I don't know about. I don't know about any of them, but it sounded awesome. It sounded like it was the best bow on the planet. Actually, I think the ad said that. I think it said the most accurate bow ever made. And I'm not kidding you. It said that. So then I'm like, well, heck, I've, I've got to have that. I've got to have that bow. So I came super darn close to buying that bow. I messaged the guy. Thankfully, after I messaged him, then I messaged a good friend of mine who knows about bow hunting. And, and anyway, in the meantime, that guy never really responded to my message. So he must not have really wanted to sell his most accurate bow on the planet. Maybe he figured, hey, this is the most accurate bow ever made. Maybe I should maybe I should keep it. Anyway, he never responded, but in the meantime, I contacted a friend and he said, Don't buy a bow on Craigslist. You don't know all the problems. Thank you. Thank you, JT. You don't know all the problems that could could um uh, pop up with the thing, if things are bent, or the strings, or whatever. I know very little about bows, um, but I know I need one, because I'm finding out that bow season is kind of long, but all the gun seasons 
are short and I'm gonna miss the, sh the gun season. So really my only hope to get a deer this year is with a bow. And it seems like the odds are not in my favor. We're talking, I've, I've never hunted. I thought maybe a gun would be kind of likely. I hear there's a lot of deer on this property, so that's awesome. Um, but then when I found out that I'm gonna miss all the, the gun seasons, and I've gotta attempt, <laughs> I've gotta try my hand at a bow, which I've really, I've never shot a bow. I've shot my my sons, but two of my sons have like, you know, compound bows, but I hope Cammie's coming up and we'll see. She'll come through that door. She'll probably be a little upset at first because I'm in hiding. We'll see. Maybe she's hiding around the corner. Anyway, never shot a bow and I have to shoot a deer this year or I'm going to attempt. So that should be entertaining. Hopefully <clears throat> we can add some educational value, not just entertainment value, but, oh, okay, she's not there. So anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to the day where it's like we're really, really learning stuff and we can share it with you guys. That's, that's so exciting for me, so exciting for me. <sighs> Just waiting for that day. And then when my videos are edited and not just like this. Yeah, that, that'll be good too. And then the beard. I feel like, especially going into winter, combined with homesteading, I feel like you're supposed to have a beard. So I've had a very short beard for eight or nine years. This is the longest it's been ever. I'm past the itchy part. I'm past the itchy stage, so now it just feels good. And I kind of want to grow it out. It's my goal, because I'm a homesteader, and it's getting to be winter. I heard recently, just in the last day or two, I heard hunters grow their beards out because deer can't see them. They can't see their face. So, triple whammy. I'm a homesteader. Going into winter, so you need some warmth on the face. And third is hunting season, and you need to hide your face from the deer. So anyway, let me know what you think. I've got the beard going, and I think, I think I'm going to continue. So this is what's funny to me. I, was ju I just got out of the shower, just got out of the shower. And I was just thinking, like... I'm going to watch these videos and watch me like I'm going to get this enormous beard. I'm going to go back to this video and the ones previous where it's shorter and shorter. And I'm going to like five years from now have this massive beard probably and not even be able to recognize my face on these videos. So it'll be fun watching this video if that's true. We'll see. All right, let me know your thoughts on that, though. Let me know your thoughts on a bow. If you guys know about bow hunting and you know what, what types of bows like you would recommend, seriously, if this, if this is going to be how I get food and provide for my family, I want a good bow. I don't, so don't, don't say, hey, this is a good price. It's, this is on the cheaper end or this is for beginners. You know, I, don't, I, I want what does the job and does the job well, okay? So don't be afraid to give me your thoughts. Thanks, guys. Shoot. Now I gotta stop it somehow. Whoop. Sorry about my finger.